Horses are on the track for race 15. Win, play, show, exact, a trifecta wagering. Fourth elimination division of the two-year-old Colt and Gelding Pace. Again, a top two finish guarantees a spot in that $60,000 final to be contested this coming Thursday. No changes. Let's meet the starters. Number one, Mr. Sunbury is owned by Larry Binkley of Charleston, Illinois, and by Michelle Whitlock of Jacksonville. Binkley, the trainer driver. Hey, hey, Jose, number two, is owned by Jose Williams and Theopsy Moore of Chicago. Jose Williams, the trainer and the driver. Incredible Gypsy, number three, owned by Ralph Katz and Becca Sam Racing, trained by Roger Davino with Eric Ledford in the bike. Mr. Major, number four, owned by Shirley and Arthur Levin of Hoffman Estates, trained by Brian Pinsky, Dave McGee in the bike. Number five is Val Boski, owned by John Nessa of Aldemont and by his son, Sean Nessa of DuCoin. John is the trainer and Dale Heitman is the driver. Number six, Call Me Peter Pan, owned by William and Norma Spencer of Plymouth, Indiana. Jerry Robinson trains and Tony Morgan drives. Seven, Fox Valley Hector, owned by Kay Willis of Beecher, Illinois, and by the Han family of Salmonock, trained by Nelson Willis with Brent Holland in the bike. Cold Hearted Ransom is number eight, owned by Michael Ross of Mendota. Irvin Miller trains and Andy Miller will drive. Race 15 will be at the post in less than five minutes, the final race on today's card. Here they come. They're off in pacing. Call me Peter Pan and Mr. Major come out for the early lead. Incredible Gypsy gets away a close-up third, followed by Cole Hearted Ransom. Mr. Sunbury back toward the inside. Falboski, who settles toward the rail into the first turn. Then Fox Valley Hector on the outside of Hey Hey Jose, who trails the field. Call me Peter Pan moves up on the outside and now takes the lead by a length from Mr. Major. Incredible Gypsy is out and rolling from third at the quarter-mile mark. Cole Hearted Ransom goes fourth. The first quarter went in 27 and one. Incredible Gypsy up to take the lead by two lengths from Call Me Peter Pan. Mr. Major is third. Here comes Valboski. He is moving up fourth, now third on the outside. Mr. Sunbury is behind him. Cole Hearted Ransom finds himself near the back of the pack all of a sudden. Fox Valley Hector goes off stride and Hey Hey Jose moves up from last past the half mile mark in 56 and one. Incredible Gypsy leads it by a length. Mr. Sunbury finds himself parked in second because Valboski has ducked over toward the rail to catch a breather in third. Cole Hearted Ransom picking up the leaders again. He's fourth on the outside of Call Me Peter Pan, Mr. Major, Hey Hey Jose, and Fox Valley Hector, who trails after a break. Incredible Gypsy leads him at the three-quarter by a length. Valboski right on his back. Cole Hearted Ransom three deep and moving past the three-quarter from fourth to third. Here comes Valboski between horses off three quarters and 126 and three. Incredible Gypsy, the leader by a neck. Valboski is up alongside with an eighth of a mile to go. Cole Hearted Ransom is there in the center of the racetrack. Valboski gets the lead by two. Cole Hearted Ransom put to an all out drive. Valboski, however, is confident and strong in the closing strides. Valboski wins it by a length. Cole Hearted Ransom second. It is close for third. It's either Mr. Major or or Incredible Gypsy for third and 154 and three. In the photo for third, it was number four, Mr. Major coming home third. The three, Incredible Gypsy was fourth. And ladies and gentlemen, in the winner's circle, here is the winner of race 15, Val Boski, Dale Heitman, the driver. 154 and 3, the third win and five starts for this Cape Crusader, bred by Brett Wilfong of Donovan, Illinois, owned by John Nessa and Sean Nessa, who are down track side. John's wife, Nori, is there, and I believe also maybe, let's just find out. We'll find out who else we have from the Nessa family.